Hello everyone, this is Webleo TV with maybe uh, an amazing video to show you how you can view your TP-Link Tapo cameras from outside your home. Maybe you are in another city, another country, and you want to watch uh, your cameras, your security cameras, but using Windows or Linux using the, the program VLC. Of course, you with the with the Tapo app, you can watch your cameras very easy in your phone. But the downgrade is that you are watching in a small screen. But if you want to open in your laptop, maybe or in a TV connected with your laptop, you can watch it bigger. And in this case, um, I'm going to show you how to do it. That remember that I have another video. You will find it on the description box down below where I show you how to watch your camera, but on your local network inside your home. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it outside your home. Of course, I have my free cameras from home. This is from outside and these two are inside in my house. Um, the first step to start is to take note some numbers I'm going to teach you to achieve uh, this goal, right? Okay, the first step is to enter to the Tapo app. When you enter to your Apple tab, you will find in this case, my camera is blurry for security reasons, but you're going to go to this gear on the top and then you're going to choose device info. There, you will find a section called IP address. This is the direction of the camera. In this case, the model C310. And take note of this number of the IP address of the camera. Then, again, in the beginning of your camera settings, you're going to go to the gear. And then you will find the bottom an advanced setting option. Go there, please, and then go to camera account. Well, uh, then account information, and you will find a, a section called username and password, right? Well, here is very important that you put a, a username and a password. Remember that uh, it has to be uh, your own, so be careful, take note of that on your notebook, maybe there, because we are going to use it uh, later on in this video. Well, the next step is to enter to our uh, browser. In this case, I am using the Firefox browser, and we are going in the address bar, we are going to put this number, 192.100, that one, that one. This is the um, direction or the website of the configuration of the router. In this case, my router is a TP-Link. The model number is, you can see here on the right of the screen, a TDW8970. It's a old router, but it's, it's still working. <laughs> And when it asks you for your user and password, if you never configure this, you will find that in many cases it's admin, admin, right? If you put here admin and password admin, maybe you can enter to your TP-Link router. If you have another, uh, another kind of router that is not TP-Link, don't worry, the steps are more or less the, the same, right? When, when you enter here, you will see a lot of uh, options, <laughs> but don't worry, we are going step by step. The first step is to find a one option uh, first uh, that you will find here on the status in the first option here on the left of the screen. In status, you will find the one option and in one option you will find, find the IP address, the public IP of your router. Not of your router, if not the, the connection, uh, the IP, the public IP of your router that helps you to connect to the internet. Um, take note of this number 
it's not necessary to use the mask, the slash, and the number it continue, only the IP address, right? Because with this number, we are going to uh, uh, teach the router to find the cameras and show the cameras to the to the internet so you can watch it outside your home. The most important option here you will find on the left hand again is an option called forwarding. We're going to enter there and then we're going to the section called virtual servers. There we are going to help the, the router to find the cameras because uh, this is an old router. Maybe a newer one will find the cameras uh, more faster or maybe are listed. Here are not listed. I, I, I add my cameras manually. And how can I do it? Well, you're going here where it says add new. You will find here the option add new. And then you will enter to this section. Well, the only part we are going to use is here where it says service port. There you are, you're going to put 556, in this case 556. And down where it says IP address, you will put the IP address of your IP address camera. Do you remember when we entered to your Apple tab on your phone? And we went to the, the IP address and we take note of this number here. Well, this IP number, you're going to put it here in the IP address, right? And then where it says internal port, you will, you will put 554. Always use 554. For example, in this case, I have my 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 cameras and for example the ip address is different because for each camera i have the free ones uh, but in service port you need to put different ones in this case 554 555 556 but the internal port is the same 554 in the free in the in the free case of each camera right um, so the important number uh, that we are going to use in the next step is the the the, the one the here when at the beginning when we find the IP address. Um, you, if you don't find the one option where it says the IP address, your public IP address, there is a website called who that is that will show you your IP address of your home and this will be very helpful for the next step we are going to do. So remember to configure very, very uh, step by step your uh, camera for each one, right? And if you have two or three cameras, try to use more, more or less the service port, different numbers, the IP address of your camera that you find on your Tapo app and the internal port will be always the same, will always be the same. It's very, very important as you will see in the next step. Well, we are at the end of this video. We are finished the, the final uh, countdown. <laughs> so uh, I will show you the last part and the most important. For example, here maybe you have on your desktop, you have the shortcut from VLC video. If you right click there and go to properties, you will find the destiny where the program is installed on Windows. So we're going to use this destiny from the shortcut because we need it to uh, teach the VLC to communicate with the cameras that are that when we are outside our home. Uh, it's more easy if you um, create a new um, notepad and we, w we are going to explain all these links to create new shortcuts. For example, um, I'm going, the, the first thing I'm going to do is right click, copy and then right click, paste and I'm going to rename this as CAM1. 
So now I'm going to the examples here, links, and you can see that the, the original shortcut from the, the where is VLC installed, the destiny, this is, is this, right? So I copy and I paste it here, right? With the exclamation marks too. Uh, sorry, with uh, with this part, uh, sorry, I forget the, the English word for this, right? But uh, it's the same as here as that destiny. You copy here and paste it in your notepad. And then you are going to put space. Remember here between these are a small space. And you will write rtsp. Two points slash slash your username from your tapo camera the username and the password name uh, look at look out because there is a two point here you put your username and the password right from the this the, the camera you have in this in this case the first one right at and then here there is an ip address direction this is the public ip address that we find in the router, in the status section, in the one part, or when you enter to the home page, who that is, you will find your public IP address. So you put it here. Then two points, and here remember that this was the service port. Do you remember that we put five five six? And if you have another camera, you should put 555 and 554, for example. Hmm? Um, so when you complete all this link with your own information, because this is an example one, you're going to copy and we're going to click right click in the cam one shortcut we create. We're going to eliminate this uh, destiny and we're going to paste the first one right so we put okay and when we open this you will find that it will take more or less seven eight seconds seconds to open your vlc with here are stp and the public ip and the streaming streaming from if maybe you are at home at, at your work in your shop sorry you are at uh, in your show working and you can watch your home from your windows uh, with vlc so if this happened congratulations it's working fine so now you are going to take this shortcut to your pen drive or maybe send it to home or maybe the only thing you need is to take this uh, example links with a notepad you take this link and create a new shortcut with the VLC uh, to watch your own cameras from your job for example and if you create another one al always uh, start with the original VLC video land shortcut you create another one and rename like cam2 cam3 depends the numbers of camera you have in this take in this case i have three so i create the, these three examples to end this part i would like to show you how uh, we can add more security in this case we are going from the original vlc i'm going to copy and then paste and we are renamed and i'm going to put a cam 01 yeah, let's put secure security why well because if you use this part of the link for example you put the address of vlc space rtsp and you only put here the ip public address your ip address the public one you put it here you don't put username that password as i put before and two points and the service port from the cameras slash stream one if you put the link in your shortcut as i put in security 
when you press OK, VLC is going to ask you for your username and password. And that is more secure for secure for or safe for your uh, shortcut. Maybe you you take your shortcut to your job or to a, or another computer you have, and you want to watch your cameras from outside, but you want to have more security. Well, uh, here the VLC is going to ask you for your username and password. That is is for me. It's the best solution if you want to have uh, more security on your shortcut. Well, to end this video, I want to show you how I have my internet connection at home and how I have the configuration of my network. Uh, in, in this case, at home, I have fiber optic, 300 megabits per second, and the internet service provider give me this router called Datacom. It has Wi-Fi uh, and has um, here four ports, gigabit port, so I can connect my TV or other things. What is the problem when you have fiber optic? Is that uh, your internet provider will not give you access to your to this kind of of router that has the the fiber connection in it. So I asked I ask them uh, what kind of solution they can give me. And the solution is to connect a LAN cable to my old <laughs> router and put in a mode called bridge, bridge mode. So the, the internet service provider only give me the, the internet, but here with my... Uh, own personal router I can have I can control my password wireless my Wi-Fi everything even I ask them to cancel the Wi-Fi from their router so I only have my own on this router and in my own router I have the camera connected here and I have a TV and I have another camera wireless uh, control it's very far away maybe about uh, some meters maybe 15 feet more or less and uh, so and later on for example my router is only a wi-fi n is 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 a bit old but now i want to uh, if i want to update to wi-fi uh, ac or ax that are the last and are, are faster and newer and with more interface. But I will wait a bit more because they are a bit expensive here on my country. But I wanted to show you this. So how, how I had my network, my local network, and well, all the, config, the configuration that we saw today was because this is a TP-Link, uh, but if you had another uh, trademark, uh, another kind of router not with another name, um, it's more similar. The, the most important thing is to open a port for the cameras. So thank you very much for watching this video. It's a bit long, but I hope you can achieve the goal to watch your Tapo cameras from work. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want my, you like my content, please uh, a subscription will help me a lot. Sorry for my rusty English, I try to improve the best I can. And if you need a camera, I will give you some links down below so you can uh, get some of the camera I show you here at the beginning of this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye!